everyone, it's Tammy and it's time to do a Foodie Friday. So I have some ground turkey that I'm going to put in a pan that I'm going to make hot. And I'm just going to brown this ground turkey. This is going to be um, kind of a spaghetti soup. I have made this before on this channel, but it's been a little while and I thought, you know what, I'm going to redo it because I love it. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I've done in the past. This time I'm going to use some ground turkey from Trader Joe's. I'm also using some marinara sauce from Trader Joe's, just the tomato basil marinara. And then I'm also going to use some cheese tortellini. This is what that looks like. And that is 10 ounces, a pound of turkey, 10 ounces of that, 26 ounce jar of tomato sauce and I'm going to use a few of the pepperonis just because I love pepperoni and I think it'll taste really good in here and then the extra things I'm going to use are some beef broth some Italian seasoning probably some onion and some garlic I have this onion and herb onion and herb stuff that I will probably use and I'm gonna try to find my Italian seasoning in my mess of seasonings. I should get one of those things that makes it lifted up, but I haven't done that. This is really good. If you've ever tried that, it's really good. But I'm not going to put it in this, I don't think. Spinach and herb, I don't need that either. I really would like some Italian. I know I have some in here. Just have to find it. You would think that my do I have two lemon peppers. No. You would think that my um, Italian would be right up front. Got some Cajun. Some cardamom. I don't even know what I use that for. Goodness, where is my Italian seasoning? Sorry, guys. I guess I don't have to bring you along for this because it's really not that big of a deal. I'll just add some Italian seasoning. I will bring you along once I start the cooking process, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we were going on here. Okay, so now I'm going to put my meat in here to get hot and brown to get hot. Wow, it's been a long day, people. I've been, I worked, I went in around six, it's 3.40, I'm home, but I'm still tired. Not really too tired, but it was a long day. Um, and I can't find my Italian seasoning, so, oh, I might have to over here. Oh, ding bat, I have a whole bunch of spices over here. sure this isn't pink anymore or mostly not pink because it's going to be cooking on the stove for a little bit so it'll cook down while it's doing its thing if it's not done but I have it in little pieces hopefully you guys can see something here in a second as soon as this fog starts going away I like it when it's broken down really good like that. Maybe that's a better angle. 
are fogging up, I can tell you that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this marinara in here. Easier said than done. And then I'm going to fill this up with water. Well, it's about halfway. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up all the way. All the way, and I'm going to take my beef base and I'm going to put about three teaspoons in this water. And I'm going to shake it up so hopefully it will get mixed a little bit. But I just it's just like a hard paste. that to here. Oops. Put the right lid on it. That would help. And then I'm just going to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up. Shake it up. And it's probably not dissolving, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do is just add it to this and it will dissolve while it's cooking. And I'm going to add just about a half of a jar still of just plain water. Because this is soup after all. And I'm going to add some garlic to that. And add your spices. Pretend this is Italian seasoning. Pretend this is Italian seasoning. It is basil. And pretend this is Italian seasoning. I'm just adding whatever I feel like. And I think I have some. That's cilantro, ginger. Some chives, let's add some of those. And I know I have some green and red pepper. Alright, and then I'm just going to let this cook for a little bit, simmer, I guess. I'll turn it on low, and I'll let this simmer, simmer, and then I'll add the tortellini. I don't have to add the tortellini until later because it is already, it's that soft kind of pasta, so I really don't have to add it for a little while, and then I'll go ahead and cut up some pepperoni and put that in there too. Maybe I can do that now, because it really doesn't matter when the pepperoni goes in. I'm just going to chop it up into little chunks. Using my kitchen shears. And this is just extra. I don't normally do this and I don't know that I'd ever do it again. Just I have it and it sounds good to me so I'm adding it. That's one of the beauties I think with cooking is that you know if something sounds good change it. Make it yours. enough. I'm going to change from this little meat 
grinder, kind of a spatula thing to a spoon. I actually may even need to add some more water, but I'll decide that after a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and let this do its thing for at least 30 minutes, but probably longer, and I'll be back. Okay, it has a nice rolling boil. I have it on two now, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. So I just wanted you guys to see how it was coming along. It's been about 15 minutes. It looks great. So, I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a little while. I'll be back. Okay, so it is very delicious looking and it's about 4.30 so I'm going to go ahead and put the tortellini in here. Look how rich and yummy it looks. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to... gonna let it sit there until that gets nice and soft and then it will be done but I'm going to take a little spoon and just try the sauce just to make sure that it's the base mm. Mm. that's tasty you might want to add a little bit of salt um, maybe a little bit of pepper and yeah I'm gonna do that now And that is that. Oh my goodness. I am excited about it. It looks so yummy. So I'm going to let it do its thing. And then I will be back. And then I also found in the fridge some mozzarella parmesan uh, shredded cheese. I am going to use this as a topper. So yum yum. Okay, so here it is. It's all done looks fabulous. The tortellini has really expanded. I'm going to turn it off. Oh, I could probably use a little bit more water. Maybe. I think I'm going to add some water to mine, but I'll give this one to my husband and I'm going to go ahead and taste it so that you guys can see and you can add some cheese to it if you want. Oh my goodness guys, this is delicious. I might add a little bit of water to his too. to make it a little more soupy. Oh, you will not be disappointed. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.